Hey everyone, this is Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com and thank you for joining me today as I watch the Bayonetta 3 release date revealed Nintendo Switch trailer. Nintendo just dropped this on YouTube a few minutes ago. I am stoked. You know, a couple of days ago we saw that the game was rated M for Mature, so speculation led to probably we're going to get a trailer before too long and maybe a release date accompanying it. I figured probably in the next week or so we would get a trailer. It's now. And I figured, and I'll see if I'm right, that the game will come out Halloween, which is a Monday. So if it's not the 31st, which is what Luigi's Mansion 3 had several years ago, maybe October 28th, the Friday before. But let's just go. I'm excited. I love Bayonetta. Here we go. Gosh, it's been so long from when we first learned about this game to now. More new faces, I see. Graphics are good, though. You mean those weren't your playmates? Those things ain't from Paradiso or Inferno. They're locals. In other words, they're part human. Then perhaps a bit of fancy dress is in order. This is dope. Oh, mm -hmm. the polish. It looks better than when we saw it. Several months ago. One by one. Hmm. They'll get their hands on enough power. Wipe out the whole trinity in a snap. Thank you, Professor. What's this tiny thing? With all those eyes, I think you'd be a bit more perceptive. That's cool. Now the Platinum Games is having fun with this development. I believe you two have already met. Let's go. This world is under my protection. Awesome. They're homunculi. Man-made bioweapons. Look, we don't have time. If we don't stop them, this world is history. And reality as we know it gets wiped out for good. And what do you expect us to do? I want you to find a scientist named Sigurd. Hoping so, yeah. We. He can help us. Whoa! <laughs> hey, that's cool. She sent me to find you. I believe I know why you're here. You're looking for a way to be out of here. Have we met before? I think I'd remember you, Riot Girl. You. Someone seems very interested in our arrival. Is it him? Perfect action here, right there. Lesson one. Carelessness will get your tail snipped, Kitty. My name is Viola. And October. The graphics, the animation, the music. Coming October. October 28th, dude. Is that it? That's it. Okay, let's find some footage or a, a screenshot that looks good for what will probably end up being the background thumbnail for this video. Okay, honestly, almost any shot will do because this game looks fire. You know, Bayonetta 3 was first revealed in some capacity, that little teaser, that little glimpse, back at the Game Awards in 2017. That was December of 2017, which means that based off of how early the game looked to be in the moment, there you go, we'll just go with the logo. The game looked like since they showed off 
just a little CG clip of Bayonetta 3 and kind of falling apart and some bad guy shooting bullets and stuff like that, kind of overwhelming her. Maybe the game started development in June or so. So I wouldn't be surprised if, as of now, July, the game has had a solid five years of development. That's just my own uh, guess, that is, but probably pretty close to being in development for that whole five years. Of course, they had some different projects that have come out since then, like Astral Chain, which is terrific too, but oh, this is kind of the big one for Platinum Games. This is their most established title, I believe, and mm, looking good. It's going to be an awesome month because we have Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope in October and Bayonetta 3. Actually, this whole period of time from June 1st to now, July 13th, has been kind of jam-packed for Nintendo. You know, we started off with new footage for Pokemon Scarlet, Pokemon Violet. Of course, we got that uh, Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. We got on Ubisoft's side that new trailer and, you know, extra reveal footage of Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. We got that, you know, Lego The Mighty Bowser reveal that collaboration going on between Nintendo and Coldstone. We just got a new Kirby uh, trailer yesterday, a brand new game that's probably going to be dropped in uh, August, Kirby's Dream Buffet. Lots of stuff left and right. Bayonetta 3 now, that's awesome. And games to actually play along this journey of summer, essentially. You know, Mario Strikers came out. Uh, Live Alive is coming out. Uh, and another nine days. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is coming out at the end of this month. Splatoon 3. We got the Splatoon 3 Nintendo Switch OLED model trailer drop not too long ago, and that's coming out at the tail end of August, you know? Uh, Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hopes came out. And, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge, that too, but that one's not a Nintendo Switch exclusive. All of those, those other titles that I mentioned, those are all Nintendo Switch exclusives, so... If you're a Nintendo fan overall, kind of like from June 1st to now, you've been enjoying this steady flow of a month and a half worth of game trailers, announcements, you know, things that go beyond games like the Lego thing, the ice cream thing, and stuff to look forward to. So you're getting games to play and these fun videos that just add some extra ex excitement, you know, to the day. Okay, but back on the game, like I said, I really enjoy the Bayonetta franchise. I loved one. I thought that two was even better. In 2014, for that year's Halloween, I actually made a video game themed pumpkin carving, and the subject was Bayonetta 2. So I looked at the Wii U box art at the time. Nine years ago? Nine years ago. Wow. Look, wait, hold on. 2014? No, eight years ago. Still a long time ago before my kids were born. Eight years ago, I looked at that Wii, Wii U box art of Bayonetta 2, and I basically, you know, carved out my video game themed pumpkin carving. Uh, that's a tradition I started back in 1998, so at that point, that was quite some years worth of, you know, these annual video game themed pumpkin carvings. Uh, that had to have been like my 16th one or something like that from 1998 to uh, 2014. And of course, at this point, I've been doing them for over two decades, you know. So I think, actually, that brings me to another point. With this game coming out, October 28th, called it. I thought maybe they would go for the 31st, but to be safer, maybe the 28th is more likely. And that ended up being it. So cool, by the way. So cool. Bayonetta 3 will probably be the subject of my Halloween uh, pumpkin carving this year, you know. I usually pick it based off of... What's the big game for that month, either slightly before Halloween or something that releases in November, not too far after Halloween, you know, because that game or that console is kind of relevant because I do consoles too. Like I made a, a Wii pumpkin back in the day, a GameCube one, a Wii U one, a Nintendo Switch one for that matter. So I, I do quite a few consoles as well, but characters definitely take up the majority. But yeah... Okay, now back to the game. It looks good. The graphics look really solid. 
the animation's cool, the voice acting is right where I wanted it to be, full of, you know, hype and delivery. It looks very much like a Bayonetta game. I think I can recall some people being a little concerned when we got that first footage in a very long time, the first actual gameplay footage, uh, you know, like I said, quite some months ago at this point. And it was, wait a minute, is this the same kind of Bayonetta game that we're going to get? Are we just taking over big monsters and having big monster battles, these kaiju events? No, it's going to just be a part of the game. You're still going to have your traversal, go through multiple smaller enemies, but just also taking over these beasts is just a more prominent part. And we saw that. And we got two characters. We're playing as Bayonetta and we're play playing as Viola. And... She looks cool with her sword, with her ability to whoosh, swing between places. Dang, that's hype. That is probably, hmm, is that my most anticipated game of the year now that we know that it's like confirmed release date and all that stuff? It always was one of them. I mean, if The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild's sequel was still coming out, that was still way my most anticipated game of the year, easily. But since we knew that Bayonetta 3, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, and Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, or sorry, Sparks of Hope, were all coming out, those were kind of my top three. Uh, and it's kind of funny because Bayonetta 3 might have always been that number one. Huh, hard to say, you know? And now that we have that date, and now that I have that trailer and that extra reassurance, maybe it is that number one. And that's saying a lot because, you know, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle was great. And as an IP, as a character, I love Mario. So I have no doubt that Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope is going to be terrific. Now, which game is going to be the best out of those two and Xenoblade Chronicles 3? That's to be determined, you know, but the one I'm most looking forward to just playing could be Bayonetta 3. That, that's also, you know, that, that's a lot to say, though, because uh, even like Live Alive, I'm really looking forward to because I didn't have an opportunity to play it back in the day. I wasn't familiar with that title, really, but it's coming out July 22nd, nine more days. So that looks very promising. The, 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 the demo on the Nintendo Switch eShop was a lot of fun. Xenoblade Chronicles 3, I'm a big fan of that IP. You know, I played Xenoblade Chronicles, the first one, back on Wii. Early days, getting that title. Uh, and then I picked up X, that special edition, awesome, on Wii U. Got Xenoblade Chronicles 2 for Nintendo Switch. And that's, you know, kind of like a, a masterpiece RPG, I would say. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is really up there as... I think one of the top 10 best RPGs of all time, perhaps. And then maybe you could you could also say, well, Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and 2 both probably deserve to be up there. Maybe I liked 2 more than 1 in the end. But 3, you know, Monolith Soft is just kind of building and building and expanding. And this is, well, I'm pointing at Bayonetta 3 logo, but, you know, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is like, their chance to work on Nintendo Switch hardware with the whole team involved, not a smaller team like Xenoblade Chronicles 2 had, from the ground up, take their time further into the Nintendo Switch's lifetime, which means more experience by that time of that game's release in the first place, and a bigger budget because they see that Nintendo sees that you know the games are selling, and I think I think this is a three million seller. I think. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is probably going to be a 3 million seller. Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope is probably going to be a 5 million seller. Also, Ubisoft is involved in that one. That's their game. They do price drops, you know, sooner rather than later. Whereas Xenoblade Chronicles 3, Bayonetta 3, they're not going to get price drops anytime soon. But that'll help out Sparks of Hope in terms of overall sales. So that's why, in addition to having Mario you know, as part of the title, uh, it will probably be a higher seller game. Price stops, and because it's Mario, you know, but five million for those, for that one, three million for these two, like, oh gosh, it's just, this ended up going from a trailer watch to a video game Newsday video, so, hey, that's pretty cool. 
Thank you for joining me. Thanks for watching along. I hope you had fun uh, going through my extra commentary. And yeah, I'm going to have to watch this trailer again because that was cool. All right. Let me know. Are you looking forward to Bayonetta 3? Are you as excited for this game as me? Have you played the first two games for that matter? You know, there are some people watching this channel right now, whether it's on YouTube that you're watching or on PaulGaleNetwork.com, that maybe have never played the game. Fortunately, Bayonetta is pretty accessible. It's on Wii U, and Bayonetta 2 is on Wii U. But for the bigger audience, Bayonetta 1 and 2 are on Nintendo Switch. You could pick it up, you know, physical. You could pick it up uh, digital. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, I think that's going to do it for now. This is Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com signing out. Thank you for joining me for this trailer watch slash uh, video game news day, video game talk day kind of segment all wrapped into one once again. I appreciate it. I look forward to talking with you in the comments section below. Take it easy, everybody. See you next time. PGN signing out. Bye.